So it's been a long day. Um, I've forgotten, uh, because we haven't met uh, in person in big conferences for such a long time, uh, that we're only just starting to do that over the last few months. And you forget how long the day is. <laughs> but you also are full, full of energy and full of new information. And we need time to think about this and think about it and digest it and then replay it. So my plea for you now, before I close the, this afternoon session, uh, is just to take a breath. Think of all the elements that you've heard from nearly 40 speakers uh, over today. Think of the conversations we've had uh, during the breaks, admittedly too short. But also think about how we're going to use that energy and use that information to play back. And we'll carry on this conversation tomorrow. Some of the elements that I think are really important and powerful today have been the stories that we've heard and the experience from Merope and Melissa in particular. But also the energy from the panels, who I need to thank all of them for their openness and their honesty and their trust and respect for each other in giving each other time to talk about their own views, which is often very difficult in the panel. I think the chairs need congratulating for keeping keeping to time. Um, Dr. Ramsey next to me was kept on fidgeting every time he looked at his watch. <laughs> so thank you for the panels. Thank you for the, the chair, chairman's role, the moderator's role for the panels. Um, but also thank you for our speakers. Um, most of us follow different people and different, different writers. Uh, one of my favorites is, is Avedis Donabadian. Um, and who was the, one of the architects of the balance between systems and processes um, to improve your outcomes. But he also chimes with what Peter uh, was saying, and also Don and Liam, um, about the individuals uh, within those systems uh, that are ultimately the secret to how you improve and create a successful system. Uh, and he identified that of all the elements uh, within our systems, the individuals and the system, the ultimate aspect to create a successful system was based on the ethical values of the individuals who work within that system. We need to reinforce that message, that it's the ethical values of what we do and how we work together and work together with our patients. I can't remember who it was who was saying, but I think it was Sue, but it could have been all of, all of them collectively of our patient, patient activists today, that the patients know best when they're not feeling well. They know best when their loved ones and their families are not quite right because they know them the best. No patient goes to a doctor voluntarily or goes to a nurse voluntarily. They go because they recognize there's something not quite right. We need to reinvest in that patient power. We need to elevate that patient power. We need to give, as Sue was saying, give them the skills and the abilities and the agency to work with the medical hierarchy, the nursing hierarchy, the pharmacy hierarchy so that we can understand each other and we're on level playing fields, so that there isn't a power dynamic, uh, that there isn't a hierarchy. Um, and so I give all huge credit to that particular panel for really reminding of us that we need to reinvest in the power of our patients and use them effectively for us. So um, I'll start wittering on, so I better stop now. Um, so thank you very much for listening. Uh, thank you all for everybody uh, to come to uh, come coming today. Thank you very much. Thank you.